Hey guys, I have another summer recipe for you, which I'm really excited about. So this is my own twist on a vegetable skewer. The reason I love doing it like this is because it looks like this ribbon candy and it looks really pretty and beautiful. And it's just a different little elevation for a classic recipe. So I wanna show you guys how to do that. Some simple little twists like that. I don't know, they just really kind of elevate your meal and make it extra special. So that's what we're doing. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how I get the zucchini ribbons, which looks so pretty. You guys, you can also just steam these or saute them in a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. Add some tomato sauce and you have like zucchini pasta or just a simple zucchini like saute. Very easy. So here's how you do it. I like using a wide peeler like this because you can really get a good grip on it. So get a couple of pieces off first, right? And then push down and here's a perfect ribbon. So what I'll do is I'll go down all four sides of the zucchini until I get to the seeds in the middle because I don't want to use the, um, the shavings with the seeds because it gets a little soggy. Without the seeds, they're a lot sturdier and they hold together better on your skewer. If you were to put the seeds on here, they would probably just like fall off. So that's why I tend to not do that. So what I'll do is I'll go all the way down this side, I'll do this side, and then this side, okay? So similarly, I wanna show you with the carrot. Okay, so let's peel the carrot. Because you want it to be that nice, bright orange. Great, swipe right. So then now, very similarly, hold it in your hand. Now be careful. I've done this so many times, so I, I know the insurance that I'm using. I know how to not cut myself. So just be careful, you guys. So get a nice grip on it. If you want to do it on the table, do it on the table. That's fine. I like holding it like this so I have more control. And then you just start shaving it off. And you can go slow so you can control it, you know, so the blade doesn't slip. Again, if you're not comfortable doing like that, please hold it and go. you can go down. You probably want to start it up and then you can just go like that if that feels more comfortable for you. So then what we're going to do is I like using carrots, zucchini, button mushrooms, and grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. So here's how we're going to build it. This is the fun part. So get a skewer. My kids are a little young, but if your kids are a little older, you can give them this job too. You can just cut off the sharp point and they can help you do this. So what you're gonna do is fold it like the little ribbon candy, which is so pretty, and then just pierce the skewer through. And I like doing two in a row of the zucchini and the carrot. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? I love this. Little things like this make such a difference, you guys. Your family, your friends, whoever you're cooking for, they'll definitely mention it to you, being like, oh, look at that. And then they'll start doing it. And then they'll tell their friends. And then their friends will tell their friends. And then you started a whole new thing. Look at how pretty that is. Yay. OK, so now what we'll do is we have our zucchini, we have our carrot, then these are all washed. Take the stem out. If the mushroom's a little big, you could cut it in half. But then just put the mushroom on. Tomato. And then we'll alternate. And then we'll go back to zucchini, carrot, you know. So ultimately, it looks like this. And I like using the mushroom on top as like a little cap, which is super cute. So we'll keep doing this one. And then I'm going to show you how easy they are to season and then cook. But something like this, you know, most vegetable skewers, it's got like a big kind of chunky vegetable on there. That's what we're all used to seeing. So something like this really adds some fun character. So just make it a little ribbon like that. And then you're just going to pierce it straight through. I like them all being the same direction. So it really looks like that candy. I hope you guys know the candy I'm talking about. Is it a Jersey thing? I don't know. It might be a Jersey thing. A little cap, 
the tomato. And then we'll do, let's do one more little set of zucchini ribbon and then I'll cap it with a mushroom. A little, and use a little mushroom for the cap. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. Isn't that pretty? This candy might be just in like Jersey candy stores. I don't know, but I, you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about. This like is nostalgic for me because it reminds me of that stuff. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so now I have some made for you because I want to show you how to season them. So very simply, okay, little bit of olive oil. Just brush them with a little bit of olive oil. Just dab it on there. So this will obviously help lubricate the vegetables for the grill and it'll help all of our little seasonings we're going to add. It'll help it stick. And add a little bit of yummy flavor as well. I mean, you can use your fingers, you can, you know, a spoon, you can drizzle it on there. I like this job for my little brush here. This is like the perfect job for something like this. Okay, good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle it. I love garlic salt. So we're going to sprinkle it with garlic salt and then rotate them. So you get the other sides. You guys will probably hear my kids soon. I think they're just waking up from the nap. Okay, great. Now we're going to do some regular salts, just a little bit, because we already did the garlic salt. A little oregano, which is super yummy. I mean, you guys can add any spices you want to this. These are just some basic ones. Like, look in your pantry. I'm sure a lot of you guys have your spice racks. Don't be afraid to experiment. This is the fun part. And then we're gonna put some fresh black pepper. Always fresh cracked pepper. Yum. Now I'm going to show you guys how awesome this looks. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so my grill is heating up right now on medium. And also because these are so thin, they're going to cook quickly. So I'm going to pop these on the grill, four minutes on each side, medium heat, maybe even medium low. I'm going to go see how hot my grill is. And then these are ready to go, and they're so beautiful. Yay. Okay, let's go outside. I got to get my hat. Okay, great. So grill is heating up. I'm gonna put some canola oil on. Again, higher smoke point. So I really like it. If a little drips down, it will catch on fire, so be careful. Move quickly. Perfect. And now just pop your vegetable skewers straight on the grill. And then we're gonna set a timer for four minutes and then we'll flip them. Don't be scared if oil drips down and a little fire starts. It's all good. Just protect your fingies. Beautiful. Four minutes. And now we wait. So now it's been about three minutes. Let's flip them over. So because these vegetables are thin, our beautiful ribbon, they're going to cook a little quicker. So just be careful because these skewers do get hot. And uh, please don't burn yourself. Woo, awesome. Oh, those are looking so pretty. Three minutes, these will be perfect. These are done. Ooh, look at how pretty. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, yay. Because it was just vegetables in here, I'm just going to put it right back in the same tray. It's not like there was nothing raw meat-wise. So I'm just going to put them right back in here and bring them up into the kitchen. Oh, my gosh. These are so beautiful. Yay. So now I'm going to turn off my grill while it's still hot. I'm going to clean it. You do not want to leave a dirty grill because next time you'll be kicking yourself. Get a little muscle in there. And if you guys don't have a grill brush, get one because it's a game changer and they have all different kinds of prices like from cheap to, you know, a little bit more, but you can definitely get one at a reasonable cost and it's really worth the money. Because now look, now my grill is all ready to go for next time I want to use it. 
I'm sure there's many ways to do that, but that's just the way I was taught. Easy. Great. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another one. And I'll see you guys soon.